chickens, huh? Yep. And these are your egg layers? Yep, these are all the hens egg layers. Yep. And yeah. we get benefit off their eggs. Absolutely. It looks like they got, I mean, how much room they got from here? Uh, this is probably about a eighth of an acre. Okay. It's about eighth of an acre for how many chickens uh, here? Right. This is uh, 60 chickens. And we're getting about 100, and they'll be about the same. So this is really big for this amount, but we move, we'll move. we be moving them every day. Oh, wow. So okay. So we could have this whole thing packed in here. And That's, as long okay. as we move them every day, they'll they'll get everything they need to stay fresh. That's awesome. Yeah, and uh, how much do you guys have to feed them versus like letting them just pick off the land? Or is well, it kind of a, it's a mix? food is a supplement mm -hmm. to the grass and the bugs and all that. I got gotcha. you. So about two gallons of food. Okay. But uh, I give them about a... Um, I just I, I'm, I just make sure that they always have food. Now, did you uh, build this yourself? Yes, I did. Very uh, cool. The uh, nest boxes got those off the off online. Oh, they even got some eggs in there. Yeah, yeah. Nice. They they lay them quick now. <laughs> That's awesome. They usually do it bright and early in the morning. Lay on the ground too. Lay the eggs on the ground. Oh, they will. Yeah. That's interesting. It's like an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> After I get them out of there, I look around and see. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on myself. Yeah, and we also have cows running through these little paddocks. Mm -hmm. uh, they come out here and they eat all the grass. It's uh, mob grazing, uh, rotational grazing. They're aerating the ground and they're dropping manure and uh, drop, uh, fertilizing the ground with their manure. Okay. Really centralized. They'll bring the cat, bring the the, light, the hens out here. What they'll do is they'll scratch through the cow patties sure. and get all the fly larvae and stuff. Gives everybody kind of a better living environment. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see here. Okay, so in the the netting, this fence, mm -hmm. it's electric netting, poultry netting. Okay. And the only reason, the only thing it's used for is to keep predators out at nighttime. Sure. These guys are really considered free range, but with the poultry netting, we can't really say they're free range. Mm -hmm. But again, all... If I had the fence down, they wouldn't go off that far anyway. Uh, but it keeps coyotes and, uh, and the uh, uh, raccoons and the uh, possums out. So at nighttime, what this thing does, at nighttime they crawl up here and they roost. So they don't, there's really nothing for me to clean up. They roost up here and they drop their manure on the ground while they're sleeping, mm -hmm. uh, roosting. And they're fertilizing the ground as they sleep. This is their constant. So whenever it moves, mm -hmm. it, they'll go with it. And whenever, it, uh, I think it's like two weeks, if something stays the same, then they start venturing out. If I left it here all the time and took these fences down, they would go on the other side of the, path, uh, on the, other side of the property. Because they recognize home right. is that way that so way. far. It stays right if you keep moving the... home, they don't that's, go too far from that's home. That's right. Okay. They, they'll stay right within this, this okay. uh, perimeter. That makes That's sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yep. All right, move chickens. Right. Move. If you'd like to learn more about Greengrass Farms, check out greengrassfarms.com. Or you can see us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube.